goodness. Anything within 50 metres of the uprights. And the All Blacks know they might be paying with three points. What a monster that was. And then the work to win back that restart from Kieran Reid, but it wasn't secure enough, and Pickamol can reset it for the French. And this is LaRue, and then taken on by Maestri. Dusatois was there as well, as he always is. Pape providing the link. Yes. Here is my street. Calculated that France had a 25% chance of winning this evening. That's been charged down by Retallick, and the percentage of winning has just decreased. Brody Retallick with the charge down, and the Blacks with the first try. And to make matters worse, it looks like Freddie Michelac is going to have to leave the field. He can barely walk. This could be a double blow for France. Fantastic work from one of the best second rows in world rugby, Brody Retallick. So agile, he's got to say, a pretty low trajectory from Freddie Michelac. With a couple of big units flying up on you like that, you've probably got to think about using your footwork a bit more. Yeah, there down goes Michelac. I think he's grabbing a hamstring. And you can only imagine that the mates that he was watching the World Cup with four years ago in that fire station are watching this now. And that does not look good from a French perspective. Oh, we saw Johnny Sexton. Hurt his groin. The, a shanked clearance here against the French last Sunday. Michelac seems to have done likewise, and that man's capitalised. Yeah, just Brody Retallac's work rate in the lead-up to that game. Brilliant how he goes for the charge down, but look here, this is just before, and he's in big trouble because he's one-on-one -on -one with Spedding, but he doesn't give up. He just keeps the legs going, goes low, drags the man down, he gets back up, and then goes to the next breakdown where he's there for the for the charge down. But brilliant play from Ritalak. Not the first time he's been isolated in defence. And then he's still available to charge the kick down and score a try. He's having a great start to the game. What a shame for, for Freddie. 33 yesterday. First time he's ever started opposite Dan Carter. They've been on the pitch at the same time, but never in the 10 shirt. The black number 10 still very much with us. Brilliant from Carter. Dozen minutes gone. And that is not a sight you want to see if you've got France in your heart.